Out and about here down in Caspian Way in Perthley, you're knocking on a lot of doors. Are there a number of reasons for that? Yeah, as all campaigners know that, you know, there's no substitute for hard work. You're knocking on doors is imperative for a campaign to be successful. But there's, there's also an added incentive for us knocking on doors and actually getting our contact rate up, talking to people, is that there are two things, in case people don't understand, there is a public and private electoral register. The public electoral register is the register we have our hands on in the sense that 41,000 people are listed on that register, which means 41,000 people in Thurrock will get a vote. There are 38,000 that won't. So us knocking on doors provides us, as I say, the additional incentive of getting people out and giving them a vote. So every door, today we're in Perfleet, tomorrow we're going to be in Averley, just talking to people and ensuring they get a ballot. What, what, do you get, what will you gauge the success when it comes to things like a turnout? Well, the turnout, I mean, it, it, it's interesting. The turnout statistics, obviously you have a local election to compare it to, but of course this is a non-binding referendum. And this is not legally binding at all. And, a, and actually, you know, five, ten thousand, however many thousand people vote, it's a, obviously an additional bonus because people are actually doing something, it's a postal ballot, it's coming through the door. There's no real requirement for them to vote. But as we've seen everywhere we've been, the, the sort of the response has been amazing. And, and you mentioned that we were in your office earlier, and just as we were in there, the phone went, a gentleman said he's going travelling up to Scotland when the v votes occur, and he wants to get his vote through, and a guy, I believe, from Tilbury. So that's encouraging. People are ringing up and really concerned about this. Well, yes, I mean, there is an, obviously an additional concern. Is actually we're contacting so many people, and so many people are interested in this, is that actually we may find in sort of the three, four days before the polls close on April 5th, we may have thousands of people registering to vote. Now, if that happens, obviously that is a fantastic thing but as we as we've seen i mean we were in chadwell st mary's and today in perfectly a number of people are sort of worried that they may not get a ballot and i mean there's been local newspaper reports about sort of how people can get a ballot paper and i would say anyone who, who's not sure if they're registered they can sort of log on to our website at peoplespledge.org forward slash thurrock um or email us at mail at peoplespledge.org or thurrock at peoplespledge.org I think I've seen some of your blogs on politics.co.uk yeah. and, and uh, how much interest has there been out out in London, out in the borough, out, out in the nation about what you're doing actually here in Thurrock? Well, there is significant interest because this has never been done before. I always sort of describe this as a supercharged by-election. You have to remember when we came to Thurrock, when Thurrock was chosen, we'd never been here before. There was really, there was no local sort of activist base, no local shop. There was no real idea actually whether or not the, the local parliamentary candidates, the MP would support this. And there was no real idea if the people would support this. We have no sort of party support. So everything we're doing, no canvassing data, in a six to seven week period, we're sort of doing what perhaps a parliamentary candidate would do in two years. I mean, it's been incredibly successful so far. And I think as each day goes past and the more this is being picked up, um, the more successful I think it will be. But yes, there's been a huge amount of interest. And I think when the results come in on April the 5th, I think you'll, you'll see it being picked up nationally. Thank you very much.